Hi, I'm Charlie from Short Block Charlie's. Today we're going to discuss the M8 heads. These are the heads that we're going to be discussing are the 107 oil cooled type heads. This is the stock head that comes off of 107. The valve diameter is 39.75, the exhaust is 32 millimeters. Um, in the near future here, AV and V valves will be making oversized valves and valve guides for these particular heads. They use a beehive spring. The valve stem is six millimeters. This is 32 millimeters. This is 39.85. What I wanted to show, I got two, three sets of heads here to show we got the stock ones. This is a set of heads that I ported, and that this we use uh, the diamond finish on the intake ports, and then we use a sanding roll polish on the exhaust. Um, the it's kind of interesting. Harley has done their homework quite well. They've got a 91% throat ratio here, which is pretty standard, and then on the exhaust here, the throat ratio is 89%. Um, like I say, it's they're, they've done a pretty good job. Has two spark plugs, a compression release right in the middle. The CNC port heads. The big difference is one, it's 40 millimeters, 32 is the same size. But one of the things that they do here on the CNC ported heads is they turn this down to enhance the airflow. Uh, it's got a swirl polish on the back. These are Ferrara valves. The thing that's kind of odd about the CNC ported heads are two things. Is one is, of course, they are CNC ported, but the thing that's interesting is they're using a different casting on the CNC ported heads. The lower floor of the port is a lot taller. I see seed the intake chambers on these. This has 118 to 120 cc intake port. The heads that I ported have 146 cc intake chamber, which tells me that we should see a lot more port velocity in, in, in these cylinder heads. What's really strange here is working with the flow bench, I, what I've seen is the same numbers on uh, port velocity. So, so, but I just wanted to make note that the casting is different. One of the other things that I did on the heads that I ported is I took the valve guides out and I machined a taper on them to enhance the airflow. The CNC port heads come with the Harley Davidson uh, uh, beehive type valve spring, and then the uh, standard ones also use a beehive type valve spring. What we'll do now is I'm going to set a cylinder head up on the flow bench. I'll take the CNC ported head and I'll go through and flow test this. What we do when we flow test the head, we use a light spring to uh, hold the valve shut so that we can get our readings. These heads are pretty amazing on the airflow compared to the twin cams. The other thing that's interesting is, since it is a four valve head, the valve spring pressure is a little bit lighter than like the old twin cam heads. And the other thing on a four valve head is the valve lift, the max that you'll probably see on a camshaft made for these things is going to be in the 500 lifts, where in a twin cam, the norm's the C550 and up on, on lift here. Oh. 
when we plow the heads we use uh, performance trends uh, software to register the airflow Okay, we got our spark plugs in. We'll put the head onto the flow bench fixture here. I'll be using a piece of clay for the intake to uh, register what the airflow. Uh, I have a intake horn being made out of plastic, but it just isn't done as of at the moment. But this will give us a, a good reading of the airflow. What we use here is we use a quarter by 20 uh, threaded, uh, all thread here. One revolution is 50 thousandths of an inch, so I'm not going to be using the dial indicator when we go to register the airflow. We'll just go by rotations and count. When I'm doing this particular head, we will be flowing it at 28 inches of water, and uh, I'll be getting I'll register it uh, five to five five lifts to five to five hundred thousandths of an inch or a half inch here. Have them just so they touch. Come over here and we'll put the clay adapter on here. When you flow ahead, like I said, an air horn is the best thing to use. If you don't have an air horn, you can use a piece of clay. It's, we need a radius. Air doesn't like a sharp edge so that we can get the airflow. An air horn nice thing about it is it's always the same mounts the same and it will enhance or pick up the flow numbers a, a bit go ahead and cut her now okay what we're going to do here is we're going to record like i said every hundreds hundred thousands two hundred three hundred four hundred thousand five hundred thousands of lift we're going to test pressure it's going to be 28 inches and we're at the range right now is we're on number three and that stuff so we get ourselves set up here what I do here is you count the rotations half one of hundred thousands you look at your notches here you go here half one now we'll turn the flow bench on
cake cutter. The next thing we'll do is we'll use this pitot tube here and we'll rec record the port velocity. Due to the, we're getting a little time constraint on this, I'll show a few of the, what happens inside a port here. You'll be able to watch it. It'll be recorded in feet per second. Usually use nine positions. And So that's how you flow test an M8 head, and that's how you get the port velocity of an M8 head. Thanks for watching.